the way the scene works, like, let me just try to walk you through it. Seder, there's, there's essentially two, two Seders and one Catherine. Later, there'll be two Catherines and one Seder, but for, for starting point, there's just one, one Catherine, two Seders. So you have Catherine, he's, Seder is like, like, you remember the scene, he's like spitting on her and screaming at her and shit, and then like kicking her on the ground. It's really fucking awful, obviously, right? Uh, so, yeah. Awful. Yes. So after he's doing that, he then radios his team and tells them to radio him everything that's going to happen while uh, the protagonist and Neil are robbing, trying to get the 241, right? So he then, we watch him, he goes into some little backroom closet, and that's where he's going to stay the entire time. Present forwards moving him, the red him is what we'll call him. Remember, red is forwards, blue is inverted, Okay. Red him is just sitting there now waiting, just on the radio, hearing what's happening. And part of what he's hearing, actually, is his inverted self and what his inverted self is doing, even though he hasn't gone through the turnstile yet from his perspective. Okay? So, right. um, so like, so his inverted self is already at this point in the present, moving backwards. Mostly trying and- to find the spot in the map. <laughs> yeah, no, well, it, this would be kind of right around that midpoint. Yeah. Um, yeah. So he's uh he's seeing himself his like okay, so yeah, he's waiting for to see him his reverse self kind of uh emerge into or reverse back into the turnstile. But his his reverse self is already now out there. And um that Catherine Sater assaulted, who's a red Catherine, she's I mean, she's literally in a red suit, but like that's she hasn't been inverted yet or anything. That Catherine got grabbed by Seder's goons who are already inverted and Seder himself and enter a car that then starts moving backwards towards the protagonist in, in the, on the highway, right? While this robbery is happening. Mm-hmm. Um, and she, she's being held at hostage. So non-inverted Catherine is being held hostage by inverted Seder, right? And the non-inverted protagonist and Neil are making this handoff. It goes wacky. He tries to rescue from the car. Um, but at the end of that, the inverted Seder actually then captures the protagonist and Catherine again. So the saving of her really didn't work um, right. and brings them all the way back to that turnstile in, in, the, in the Freeport there. Meanwhile, the non-inverted Seder is still sitting in the back of that room. He hasn't moved. He's just been sitting there listening to the radio chatter about what's going on. Right. So. The inverted satyr, as he like works, reverses his way back towards the turnstile, shoots Catherine, Catherine who's not inverted. So he shoots non-inverted Catherine with his inverted gun and inverted bullet, which means like it looks like the bullet basically is already in the, the, the glass hole in the glass and like retracts back through her body and catches in his gun, right? That whole thing. Um, and then And then he like, moves back to the turnstile around that same exact time, obviously, all of a sudden you see non-inverted Seder emerge from the back room where he's been hiding, confront okay. the protagonist, slap him around because the protagonist is tied up on the red side of the room. Right. Um, and then at the same time, because of the proving window, you see a non-inverted Seder enter the turnstile and inverted Seder back up into the turnstile. The turnstile closes and neither, both have dis- essentially disappeared. But he didn't actually disappear. It just looked like that because what you're seeing is non-inverted Seder go forwards and then start to go backwards. So it looks, it's actually simultaneous, even though they're next to each other. Right. And so what happens is. Okay. Correction here. So what's happening is Kat's point of view is she's assaulted by a Seder who's still red, then put into a car Like we see the same, this car with the inverted guy before she even first arrives at the turnstile. Uh, she's brought into that car. That car then drives down the highway, and it unites, re- like runs into Seder, who's then going to be taken by that same car um, to his escape in the past. But since they're blue and inverted, what Katz experiences is them moving backwards, the backwards moving Seder grabbing her, dragging her into the other car, the Audi, then from that car, she goes through the whole chase as we see it, exactly as we see it. And then at the end of that, she's recaptured by Seder, just like the protagonist, and then brought 
into the turnstile where she's then reverse yeah, shot. He's like, this is the point where he decides to go inverted and he's like, well, I have to help save Cat too because by inverting her and sending her through the turnstile, what's going to happen is her body will now become inverted matter, which means that the healing process, which was accelerated when she's not inverted because it was an it inverted bullet, reverse? it will go in reverse, right. Oh my um, god! Which, yeah, 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 right. That's why he does it. So it's to, it's to, it's partly to save her life. It's also so they can go chase after the two forty one. And the thing is, we already saw this happen because we already saw that Saab car in the past. Yeah, that was the flip one up. Right, that was crazy. the protagonist who also that inverted afterwards. Mm-hmm. Right, right. 